Yo, what up gamers? Welcome to my Ash ADC gameplay guide video. So we're going to be running Lethal Tempo with Triumph, Alacrity, Cutdown, Magical Footwear, and a Push Velocity. The secondary page this is what I always do, no matter what uh, my primary page is. You always want to do at least Inspiration with Approach Velocity. Approach Velocity is absolutely core on Ash ADC. Uh, you could also do Cookies instead of Boots, but I personalize it before the Boots. Uh, then for primary page, you could also do Hail of Blades, but personally I prefer Lethal Temple for the better scaling. And because the extra range can be really fun on Ash. Gonna be running Triumph, but you also have the option of Presence of Mind, which is what most people prefer. Personal Light Despair, prefer having the closure fights, and we're gonna be running Alacrity this game. Since we're gonna be doing Bork either first or second item, probably second. So we don't need to do Lifestyle through runes when we're getting Lifestyle that early. <coughs> We're gonna cleanse this game since we're facing a Mumu support. At level 6, having cleanse against the Mumu is absolutely crucial if you want to have any chance of not dying. And especially of not winning, or of, or of uh, winning fights. Just gonna prioritize poking Twitch there over a little sitting. Okay, so level two, generally just want to put a point at the E. There's not too much point leveling Q because it doesn't do too much damage early on. It just costs you 50 mana for almost nothing. If you know for a fact you're going to be getting into a fight, then it might be good. But uh, it's really not that great of an ability, so... I'm just going to shove this wave on a turret. I'll use my E here and it'll hopefully see most of their jungle. There we see all of their boss side camps are down. I didn't actually pay attention to whether they were leashing or not, so it's nice to see confirmation they're on his top side. Right, I forgot he has two of those these days. We'll go on Twitch here. As much as we can. Okay, pretty okay trade. We're gonna have to let this push back a bit, but it's no problem because Rengar is butt side out at the moment anyway, so they might get into a gankable position here. We're gonna put a second point into W here, because, you know, as we've just talked about, Q is very useless early on. It is a great ability in team fights, and once you've got it maxed, it's not so great early on. So we'd rather prioritize putting a point in W. Like, it, it's not, like, it's obviously not bad to cost it in terms of, like, the damage it does. It's not gonna, like, negatively affect your damage. Well, except when it does. We'll go over that later. Um,. Well, we don't want to use mana on it. Yeah, this is already lost. At least Twitch didn't get anything there. He's actually missing out on a lot of farm here, because I assume he was moving towards the fight. And the wave is not in a great state for them to be moving to fights. Gotta be a little bit careful here. Yeah, so Twitch has missed out on a lot. This is actually huge. Yeah, the thing about Dash Q, I don't believe they fixed this entirely. I think they fixed it with Warden's Mail, but uh, because Ash Q splits her damage to like seven different instances or something like that, it means that damage reduction abilities like Leona W, and it used to be Warden's Mail and Thorn Mail as well, uh, they literally reduce the damage from your Q like seven times. So it basically, it does less damage than not casting Q, even though you're getting extra attack speed. It's a bit silly because the ability is not meant to work that way, but an oversight that they've never bothered fixing. I think they might have fixed it with Warden's Mail, but I think it's still I think it's still the case with Leona W. But don't uh don't take me on my word. I could be lying to you. I dream of a nation for my people. Mm, don't want to crash this wave. Nah. No. Well we do want to slow push though. We want to be able to crash this on the next wave. Yeah, realistically, I think Ash Q could afford to cost less mana. That would be a pretty good buff for the ability. Oh, and this, actually, I, I completely forgot. I, if uh, what I'm talking about is true, that uh, abilities that produce damage counter Ash Q still, Amumu literally has that as a passive on his E. <laughs> Okay, so my auto just did 38 damage to him. 38. What does my regular auto do? 45. Yep. They didn't fix it. 
nice to confirm that. So we're basically not gonna bother hitting Amumu at all. Oh man. Yep, 39 damage. And he's not even maxed the Z yet. If he's smart enough to max Z, well, if he knows about this interaction at least, I'm gonna be doing very little damage to him. At least by 13, I'm gonna be doing zero damage to him. I could probably kill Twitch here. Fuck, I needed that to land on Twitch though. I wanted to flash on him. The W hit and then I hit an auto Q, he'd be dead. Okay. Thank you. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I do still like overall deal more damage to Mumu by casting Q just because I get the extra attack speed. But as you can see, it's not as big a deal as it should be. It's not the straight damage increase that it should be because it's also meant to like increase the amount of damage that each auto attack does individually. But instead they do less damage. It's just really stupid. I need to use my E here check that I'm not getting ganked. Oh, the jungler's Diana, she's dead. Never mind. Yeah, I got level 6. Damn it, Mumu has another Q. Okay, at least I hold them off alone and I can fix this wave state. Oh my god, I'm getting blocked entirely into this Twitch. W, oh well. At the base now. Okay, I got a lot of gold here. We'll get the Moon Quiver and Pickaxe. I guess I'll also pick up this. Oh. I won't bother with a pink. I actually like pinks on ADC more on blue side because this spot is like a much more convenient place for pink. Much more defensible too. So yeah, I mean, if you can, if you can help it, try and avoid picking Ash into this stuff like a Mumu support and Leo in a support. Unfortunately, I blind picked Ash here, so it was either an accidental amazing counter pick from a Mumu, or he just sort of knew about the interaction and he. Like that deliberately, but yeah, like I'm pretty sure Mumu's support is Ash's like lowest win rate uh, support to be picked into. Like at least with the Leona W, it's it's inactive, right? It's not permanent. But with a Mumu support, literally, is is he is a passive? <laughs> this is no way around that You just straight up do so much less damage to him than you should if you cast Q. Oh my God. Probably should have used the already. Okay, then it's top side. I'm actually gonna just crash this wave again, just so I can place vision again. This time in their tri brush. I'll hit them with a quick W before I go though. Little parting gift. Hmm. Thing is, Twitch. Yeah, Twitch is a pink word right now. But he's not placing it either. We're gonna be a little bit careful right now because uh, I don't have cleanse for the Momo. Nice, I hit Twitch with that W. So I really want to avoid getting hit by a Momo Q here because I would give him a free ultimate. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to place this trinket even though they haven't placed the pink yet. Just to be safe. Nice one. Could have obviously like kill stolen or a snag and assist with my ult, but I don't want to do that for a kill that we're guaranteed to get anyway. I especially don't want to risk him like flashing away from my ultimate and then surviving because we have nothing else to follow it up with. At least then if he flashed, I could just follow it up with the ult. It'd be very hard for him to dodge. Oh, 
What is the old thing for? That's gonna base though. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Didn't think he'd get in lane that fast. That's annoying. Oh, it's an AP Twitch. I didn't even notice until now. Where did his pink go, actually? He must have placed it here, right? Because he didn't place it here, and he didn't place it while he was still in lane. Okay. Well, then I was worried over nothing about placing my trinket there. I thought it would be easily cleared if I did. Mm. I'm trying to- I want to ult him, but he keeps moving further to the right. Got him. That was pretty much no chance that wouldn't hit him. Unless he flashed. Ooh. Got him. Nicely done, Nami. Just don't hit him. Perfect. I have PTSD from so many supports just hitting the Twitch for no reason there. And getting the kill. Okay, gonna be an easy shove now. Now they've got this many items, our wave clear becomes very good. Oh, wait, this Yone isn't our team. What the fuck? I thought we were collapsing on a Mumu. I think I'll just base. Yeah. So we're actually a little bit countered here by the Twitch support because... Oh, sorry, the AP Twitch, sorry. Because AP Twitch is really good into mobile ADCs, ADCs that don't have dashes. In fact, for that reason, it might have been smart to go Gale Force this game, but... Uh, too late for that. Because when he places a W, it has a crazy AP scaling the slow itself. So, you basically can't move. You basically have to just dash off of the W, or you are fucked. The moment it's not too big a deal, but as he gets stronger throughout the game, it's gonna be ridiculously hard to skip the Twitch if he doesn't stay super far behind. Okay, gonna be free to right here. Check their jungle. At the very least, we can also just play some vision here. Okay. Red buff is up. Let's try and do it. <laughs> oh god. Maybe she doesn't have smite. Hey, I got it. Just gonna ignore Shadow Focus her. I'm gonna leave now, actually. Because, uh, yeah, every chance we could just get ganked right now. Okay, no son of Yone. Nice one. I think my team has got that, so... Mm. Yeah, so I'll try and help. Okay, if Twitch doesn't have stealth, then he's dead. Actually, he might... He's still gonna die anyway, I'm pretty sure. He's gonna flash. There we go, nice one. I'm not gonna get that. Ooh, Nami! No, I'm trying to click minions! Ow! Oh, you're shitting me. Hang on. Okay, I live. Rengar, you are fucked as well, though. I might die too, we'll see. Nah, there's no way. Zero chance. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing Bork now. Uh, I don't think it really matters too much whether you do Bork Rush or Kraken Slayer Rush. But either way, this is like the typical Bolden Ash at the moment. Is just Kraken Slayer into 
Bork. Personally, I do think like Bork is just slightly better as a rushing item. Thing is, though, the Kraken Slayer components are better than the Bork components, so I can see why people prefer to do Kraken Slayer first item. And either way, it's just going to be a better two item power spike than we would get from going like Kraken Slayer into Phantom Dancer, for example. And the three item power spike shouldn't be too much worse either. And it makes definitely makes the most sense to go Bork in a game like this where we're facing a Shen who has Heart Steel. In general, right now you're going to see a lot of high HP tanks in the current meta because of Heart Steel. So Bork very much shines right now. It's become even more common in preseason than it was before. Where it was already a very common build path for Ash. Focus you on it here. Oh, I'm actually just gonna walk over here. Come on. Ah, I'm not gonna get him. Okay, I tanked that up a little bit. Maybe my team can make something of that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, actually, maybe I could have killed Yone. I'm not sure. Twitch. <laughs> Come on, man. Damn it, I just barely didn't get that. Okay, we'll shove one more wave. This guy's back to full HP. I don't think he recalled. Maybe he did, I'm not sure. Alright, we should be able to base with a Bork here. Awesome. Next up is going to be Phantom Dancer. Or, I mean, we could also just completely do Runance. There's no reason why not. It's just that most people prefer to do Phantom Dancer. Um, I might actually just go for Runance, though. Because, I mean, Runance does have synergy with the Bork. Basically, the bolts are going to spread the Bork on hit to multiple targets. And the Whipcar is also just always nice. get him here there we go now watch me do less damage to Mumu once I pop this Q 150 damage for auto now suddenly it's like 98 it's crazy man you should be dying so much faster thankfully his character to me is not really having too much effect over the game but definitely if they had played as well as us they would have stomped us just well yeah I mean they should stop us just because Mumu was such a hard counter to Ash Fortunately, though, I think in lane I found myself hitting Twitch more than a Mumu anyway, but that's kind of on Twitch. <laughs> nice. So yeah, I mean, basically your options... Oh. Nice one. Your options for third item are between Phantom Dancer, if you want just pure single target damage, and also Chasing Power, because it gives you more movement speed. Or Runans if you want some AoE and some wave player. Like, honestly, I would say it's mostly just personal preference. I think most people gravitate towards the Phantom Dancer because they assume it's better, but I think both items are probably about equally good. If he uses ult, I'll just cleanse it. There we go. Oh god. No! What the hell was that Yoni's taking power? I guess he already had a third key stacked up, which I hadn't noticed. My bad. Oh no. Yeah, my bad. I was thinking about the Amumu QR, but not about the second Amumu Q. Ooh, nice bubble. <laughs> Alright, moment of truth. What am I doing? 
I think I'll do Runans. Runans actually would have been so sick. I would have been slowing both of them at once. Instead of having to choose between them. Support already done. 804 damage. Could go for a camp, but there's no point when I can just get to this mid-wave. Run that for myself. Oh god. Dude! Oh, for fuck's sake. My bad. Should've used the to check there. That was a bit unfortunate that they ganked me from here exactly as I was moving there to check the raptors though. Why couldn't they be ganking me from here, huh? Anyway, third item. We have the option basically of Lord Dominix or Infinity Edge. Usually I wouldn't advise doing Lord Dominix before Infinity Edge. But it works pretty good if you have Bork, because Bork doesn't actually get enhanced by Infinity Edge in any way. Whereas the armor pen from Lord Dominix actually helps like your Bork on hit damage. So if they have tanks, I definitely would advise doing Lord Dominix before Infinity Edge. And usually, even if they have tanks, I would advise Infinity Edge. So I think we are going to do Lord Dominic here since they have at least two tanks. Oh no. I'm going to try throwing my ultimate here. I feel like it's likely to hit someone. Whether it was necessary or not is an entirely different question. Okay, I think it did help. Holy crap, yeah. Unfortunately, nobody actually died that I hit with the ultimate, but did get him, I think, two kills there. I can maybe catch out Shen here. Oh, oh, they're gonna do Drake. This would be a bit risky. But we'll see. How did that hit me? Fuck, I'm so dead now. Where am I? I'm just eventually dead. There's... Hang up. There we go. God bless. Holy fuck. Yeah, he was so patient with that. If he just thrown it a lot sooner, I probably would have dodged that, and I would have been more confident about winning that. Problem is, he fucked up by even trying to cast the Q, because so long as he holds onto the Q, I keep having to juke to try and predict his Q. And he can just, like, not cast it and just keep walking at me and killing me. Nice, now we get the lifesteal. Oh, should I help her? No, she's alright. I'm gonna check the... Golems then. And we're back to full HP. God bless Bork. Oh. Oh god. I can't hit the glitch! Oh, and I was exhausted without realizing it. Oh, but... Okay, there we go. How... How did I get Yone? What? I wasn't even focusing him by the end. Oh, maybe that's dance. He definitely shouldn't have died there. He could have eaten back at any point. Oh well. I'll let Camille get the casters while I go for the red buff. Damage just dropped by about 40 per auto. It's ridiculous, man. Doesn't even have Emax yet, probably. I assume at least the moon supports Max Q generally. Alright, let's space her. Granted, some of the damage drop-off is also just because I'm using Bork, so he's natu I'm naturally meant to start doing less damage per auto as they get lower HP, but 40 damage difference from one auto to another is just a ridiculous difference. Okay, you guys should leave, I'm basing. I don't want to cancel my base just to walk all the way over there by the time the fight is going to be over anyway.
Nice. We timed the or spaced the right this time. Oh god. The runes. Let's go. If if he's just gonna ult me, ah, he ignited me even worse. God damn it, bro! I took six, six hundred and sixty ignite damage this fight, and <laughs> five hundred and thirty damage from the Twitch poison. All true damage. I took far more true damage than I did physical or magic damage. Awesome. And I wouldn't mind if it was all Twitch poison, but come on, being ignited twice, really? No, actually three times, sorry. Three times? I got ignited three times! Wait, that's crazy. <laughs> and all of them were like spaced out too, what the hell? Granted, at least the Mumu Ignite didn't do too much damage, but... I'm sure still guaranteed my death. Yeah, I think Brunan's played off harder there in that fight. So the Doran's blade now for BF Sword. Let's see if this ult hits him. Boom. Oh, I didn't ping it to my team though. I just thought they were trying to collapse on him already. Ah, I missed the cannon somehow. about not getting a Mumu cute here. Actually, now it's fine, which is not a position to blow up anymore. I don't want to get hit by Mumu Q though and get ulted though. I wish Nami would have just kept walking in front of me so he could only Q her. So I can go for it. Twitch. At least to bait the Shen. No, come on. Fuck me. My bad. Who I guess it maybe. He's so close. Oh, it's not quite gonna be able to get the kill. Yeah, we got a lot of value out of cut down this game. This is definitely the season of cut down for an ADC. In fact, what I used to find annoying is that a lot of tanks wouldn't even build enough HP to actually get you a lot of use out of cut down. A lot of their tankiness would just come from armor. So nice having cards still in the game now, because you actually get value to cut down if you're against tanky champions. As you should. Oh boy. Where did it even come from? I swear it wasn't in sight. Good for twist it all. I'm just gonna pop an elixir, because I'm pretty sure... Uh, by the time my next base, I should have enough Infinity Edge anyway. Either that or we just win, <laughs> considering the state of the map, so... I may as well pick up this, uh... Cross Spike. Just to help us do whatever we're gonna do. Oh boy. Okay, they're not on it yet. Damn it, I wanted to hit him. I don't have a cleanse this time. Oh. Hmm, okay, they're gone. I can try and do the Drake now. Well, I assume they have, yeah, they have a warden here. We should drag this out. There we go. Hopefully Yoni didn't just set up his third Q on the red buff. Okay, we still got it. God bless. Okay, it's not in here. What the hell? What was that animation? That was like his ult over the wall, but he didn't do that.
Yeah, I should back off. I got cleanse in 30 seconds. The opponent should be in global if I play safe enough in the fight. Flashed away from the Danel so she didn't have the damage to kill us now. Curse is E passive. There we go. And that's gonna be GG. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more ADC guides. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later, gamers.